And if we look at this methods of understanding, um, and the mind as being probably able, but it needs to be working on full power, and full power means we must let it be. We must let mind be. But it's impossible in a world of um, egoistic humans who are um, completely driven by the opposite of not letting the mind be, but to utilize the mind to its full potential to try and understand. We're just simply confused. Confused as this minimal, minor replicas of this big one. And this big force that we are um, acting out for does not know, does not know the knowledge he has. So how can he know that we're going in the wrong direction? So the knowing that this one tries to, that this one conveys, but does not understand, the reason we are here is to understand for it, like like understand for our father. Everything's a reflection. When we have someone who is unable to um, think for themselves, maybe through to illness or whatever, we try and understand for them. We try and understand what they're trying to say, try and, try and understand what they want, what they need. We, we are great carers when it comes like this. And again, it's another hint from the one above that we are replicating what he is trying to do, or it is trying to do. It makes absolute sense to say that we are also trying to understand why we are here. But we are just a reflection of the big one understanding why we are here. So we're like an echo. His first thought, why am I here? And it rings through every single being, born at that moment, and given the message at that moment, why am I here? So enlightenment and all this stuff that, that comes to kind of set you off on this um, journey of better understanding is just, um, it's just something to kind of entice you, to give you some sort of re rewards or um, you know, keep going. It's bliss, it's joy, it's wonderful. But long term, we're really looking to try and understand for them. But not through the way we've been understanding before, or right? trying to dissect the universe and cut it up and whatever. Let, but let, by letting mind do it, what it's supposed to do. By show us. And when I say us, we are mind. But to show us, when I say us, we're speaking about the, the main one, the source. He's invented the mind to show it. So it can show him, or it, what he is, why he's here. Same with us, a reflection. Whatever is happening to us in our lives is the same thing that is happening to this source, this big one, this, this, this giant Brahman, whatever, this giant I. And when it completely understands what it is, it can actually create through its knowledge, a perfect heaven, a perfect paradise. That is why heaven has never been finished. It has never been complete. That is when, when people have near-death experiences and visit this one, or visit the, the voice of this one, or the image of this one, or the light of this one, they always have to return. Because there is nowhere for them to go yet until this place has been made up. It cannot be made up until we, the mind, the mind, allow ourselves to be and it will give the information clearly and all we have to do is to be the witness so it can take the information from mind not us use mind but mind send the information back and voila over in a flash paradise what more is a human to do but while we have this 
urge, this desire to be like him, to find the information, we are stumbling. Our, the stumbling block comes from us not understanding. Not understanding that we are just simply here as his eyes. As many eyes of the big eye so that we can see what he is or what it is and project it back to him. And the mind can say, this is you. And this is what you can you have created because you do not know until I explain to you. Everything is like this, like teacher and school, school kid, school kid teacher. You will not know it till I explain to you. It's a very simple thing. This Bible was written too early. It was written too early for a mind. Or it was written perfectly, but we did not understand it. Or he, the one, did not understand it. But if you take time out of the equation, heaven is maybe made. If everything has happened in one single moment, the beginning, the middle, and the end, and it's just being conveyed throughout as a game or a play, then what are we worried about? The movie's over. It's beginning, it's going on, and it's finished. What a fantastic thing to know that every single thing that is happening now has happened. Everything that will happen has happened. Everything that happened in the beginning is happening simultaneously in one single moment. And that was given to me, this one. But who am I? Who am I? I have no idea. I have no idea where I sit within this big eye. We are all axes within this main eye. We are all many eyes. So that the main eye can see through us. We think we're important and we are. The job we are doing here is really, really important for heaven or paradise or whatever it is that's going to come out of this is to be perfect. If we just allow it to be instead of being greedy and trying to get what we want from the mind. Not give to the mind what we want from the mind. Once we turn this round, things can start progressing. <laughs>